Wow. Fuad Abiyad and James Hollingshead. This is a comparison requested by you guys, the viewers. Why would you request this one? This is an odd ball matchup. Fuad Abiyad, obviously, he is the master of the podcast, his uh, YouTube channel. Awesome. Always watch the videos. He features James Hollingshead. Just watched a video. James Hollingshead, uh, he was on it there. So... These guys have never competed as far as I'm thought, as far as I'm concerned. A little bit of a different level, I have to say. Fuad, uh, my estimation, has never been to the Olympia. James Hollingshead, I, I, I don't think he's ever, ever been to the Olympia. James Hollingshead, he's been there a couple of times. He's an Olympian, for sure. Little bit of a different level here, guys. So I used, to make it a little bit more fair, I used a, an Olympia version. Of James Hollingshead, which is not the best version of his. But maybe we can make it a little bit more fair for one Fuad Obiad. And before I begin this one, guys, before I begin this one, I have to address a situation. Keon Pearson, one of the top pros, one of the top pros, 212, future Hall of Famer, future Olympia champion for sure. He was watching one of my videos and gosh darn it, I really messed up, and I apologize to Keon and his staff. I put this picture up, obviously not a most muscular, still looks pretty good. Might even give him the win in this one anyway, <laughs> against Derek Lunsford. This is him bowing down, and he got a little bit, uh, I don't want to say he got upset. I don't want to say he got upset at all, but I mean, he wants to make things right. This here is what Keon Pearson Looks like in a crab position, most muscular. Now, I would have given him the victory over Derek Lunsford. Maybe not the best position for Derek. His hands clasped was good. But the crab position, definitely going to Keon Pearson. But you know, Keon, you shouldn't be worried about old Mark's Max Muscles comparison with Derek Lunsford. You should be more concerned about a dude like Kareth Bajo. I'm telling you right now, that guy's on fire. And these two guys, oh man... 212 is going to be awesome this year. But anyway, where are we? Where are we? I, I'd forget my head if it weren't so gosh darn attractive. I'm just joking. Front double bicep. And I forgot to mention, this is the 2014 Europa Super Show for Fuad Obiad. And this is last year's Olympia. Not the best for James Hollingshead. But if you guys aren't going to re request specific years, versions, it's going to be like a, a bodybuilding contest. I'm just going to pick randomly versions because, you know, they're not going to come out every single time at their best. So this is more of a, a realistic approach to these comparisons if you just randomly select versions. Because using these two, Fuad's going to have a an edge in condition. He's got better lighting. Hey, in a picture comparison, better lighting helps, right? Huh? Some saying? Yeah, exactly. Um, good big LED screen behind James. You think that's going to help? No, it's going to make him look more watery. It's going to make him look washed out. Fuad has a muscle separation edge. I'll give him that from head to toe. Quads, abs. But when you do look at the midsection, James looks smaller in that aspect. With a bigger set of wheels. So he's, he's going to have an edge in a lot of aspects. Go through these shots. We're already almost four minutes in, and this is the front lat spread. Huh, interesting. Now the midsection again. I got a point to that. With all due respect, I do not want to diss Fuad Obiad with his powers of observation. With one foul swoop, he could knock me down. Or he could, you know, help me out like he, he did before. He shouted me out before, Fuad, so... Thank you very much. James Holling said also he's got a channel I watch. He's an interesting guy too. Both of these two dudes. Huh, I'm going to be sucking up to these guys. So look for this one to be less of a judging venture. Because I don't want to insult any of the two. But yeah, James got the got the smaller midsection. And uh, Fuad maybe the better muscle, muscle separation. Turn to the side here. Yeah, this is surprising to me. That Obiad is actually giving James a run for his money. You look, and it's obvious. James is a bigger guy. He occupies more space. But it seems to be good shredded space for Ob Obiad. Fuad. 
Canadian, eh? I'm Canadian too, ah? Huh? Oh, eh? Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a side tricep. And again, much more size for James. Look at the size, the, the, the wheels on this guy. Huge, huge. Probably winning in the arm as well. Fuad, I don't know, though. He's got better muscle separation in the arm. And I, I can hear you guys now. But Mark's Max Muscle, why not use the best versions of these guys all the time? Well, just to shake things up. Now this, this was, uh, he won uh, the Tsunami Cup. Was it the Tsunami? Tsunami Cup that James won? Look how shredded he was here. Muscle separation in the arm of the yin-yang. Papa. And if you want a direct comparison to see if James Hollingshead was off at the Olympia, well, James, yeah, yeah. I don't think that he was putting too much in terms of eggs in his basket coming into the Olympia. I think it's obvious. He kind of just figured, you know, well, I'll go to the Olympia. But I'm not competing to win, yeah? I'm just going to come in and look like a, just a big giant, not a stride giant. Go to the rear lat spread here. And I do believe, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that this Fuad will be odd. He might have a, a, an edge, a slot edge, I do believe, in the conditioning department. But James Hollingshead here, he's, uh, yeah... He kind of phoned it in as far as the Olympia condition is concerned. Go to the rear double. And I don't mean to be disrespectful, James. It's just that, you know, we know what you are capable of. And I once said, James Hollingshead someday could become Olympia champion. But not with condition like this. Not bringing it in like this. Fool it, I'll be odd. Might even give him the victory... In this matchup, because of the condition, Fuad, hey, look at him. Strawsions in the glutes, a little bit, maybe softer than, say, Ronnie Coleman's, but a little bit harder than, say, you know, Lou Frigno. <laughs> wow, Lou Frigno had a soggy donk, soggy donk. He could shoot that with a BB gun, and the BB would get lodged right in there and would probably bounce off a food pew but anyway anyway james hauling said softer than a bar than a bar of soap james hauling said at the arnold classic you guys remember him at the arnold classic uk now that's a strided badonkadonk you see that hamstrings now this is a a condition james hauling said still Fuad's back is pretty good. The Christmas tree area seems to be wrinkle-free, drawn out just perfectly, baby please. And that's what you want. And that's what you want. It would just be nice to have more thickness like James Hollingshead has in the traps. He's a powerful dude. Oh, I guess we're using the Tsunami, tsunami Nutrition. That's what it was called. Tsunami Nutrition. And, uh... Using this version, James is a monster. Look at the striations. You call that cross striations? I call that who cares about the glutes. Look at the legs, mate. That's what I call that. And that's not an English accent. Well, English, I mean, uh, it's, it was an Australian. How's my Australian? This is like if you're from London, England. We sound very polite like that, yeah? Here's the most muscular, kind of all over the place with this one, ladies and gentlemen, because it's foolish, absolutely foolish, to take just two random versions of these guys that have nothing to do with each other as far as bodybuilding is concerned and compare the two. Ooh, it'll be odd. I like how he's holding the hips. Hip. And uh, it makes him look wider. Makes him look wider. And James Hollingshead, maybe the not, not the best shot for him. Uh, surprisingly. Because he's a great big buff dude. All the way buff dude. Wow, 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 wow. Bum, pumping up. A pumping iron doesn't really matter. Because it's Fuad versus James. Fuad versus James. Any of you guys still with me on this one? Fuad, I'll be odd, guys. What can you say? 
might even give him an edge over James Hollingshead if James were to just step on the gas pedal. Like he was at the tsunami, he would destroy Fuad Abiyad. I don't like to use the word destroy, though. Very disrespectful. And you gotta be very quite careful when you make videos about these guys, Fuad Abiyad. Uh, not Nick Trujillo anymore, but say, still, still, maybe Nick Trujillo and Greg... Greg Doucette, you gotta stop doing the Greg Doucette accent. Do the Greg Doucette, driving around in a freaking Lamborghini. Anyway, hit thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys. Have a great one.